One way to make savings both on your energy bills and the initial cost of the displays is to turn them off when they're not going to be seen. This way you can buy the 16-hour displays instead of the 24-hour versions. Using the server, you can create a timer to automatically turn the screens on and off at specific times on specific days, rather than having to do it manually with a remote control at the start and end of each day. To do this, from the server menu, select the device icon and click on the device to set up, and select the edit button at the top of the page. This will open a window where you can configure many elements of the screen, but to deal with the timer, select time. You have two areas, the clock set and the on-off timer. You can't change the clock from here, but if it's displaying the incorrect time, click current status to show what the actual time on the screen is. From here, you can configure up to seven timers by clicking on the timer of your choice and selecting the use button for both the on and off timer. From here, it's just a matter of choosing the day and the time for the screen to turn on and off. Set the volume and the default source. There's also an option to include this timer in holiday management, which allows you to set a date range where the screens do not adhere to the timers. Then it's just a matter of repeating for all the additional timers. If you want to set the holiday management, simply select the start and end date of the holiday. Finally, click save to apply the settings. And that's it, you're done. The screens will now automatically turn on and off at the prescribed times, until you decide to alter them. If you'd like me to continue producing more of these videos, please subscribe using the button below and hit the like button if you found this video helpful.